This is Obama Raptor here, and I'm going to show you how to build your very own turret. And I want to cover a little bit more than the basic tutorial, and I want to show you a little bit about the AI and the limitations of constructing turrets, as well as some possible changes that I think could very well improve this game. First of all, you need is a turret docking module. First thing you need. You also need some turret docking enhancer units, also called Cialis, for extensions, obviously, so if you want bigger, better, harder, faster, stronger, throbbing turrets, you're obviously going to need some enhancements, because let's just, let's just say it honestly, regular turret just doesn't fetch it. Now, first thing you might notice if you've ever planted a turret before is, hey, it only faces one direction. Well, that, that doesn't work very well. Well, the way you have to change it is the way you change most things. You have to orientate it right here. Press left control if you're using the default keys. And then you'll change it until you get this bright red square here. This means it is facing the direction that you're pointing. Right there. Voila! And now we're green to go. Now obviously, it's not ready yet. What you also need to do now is extend it. But first, you have to make sure, as before, if you see right here, you'll get a notification. If you play, if you try to place it immediately, you'll get this notification. Say, hey, it's not working. It's not connecting. First, just like a weapons module, you have to press C, and then you can select it. And it should place automatically after you've done that. Now, one thing you want to keep in mind is these things have to be connected like many other blocks. Now, if you notice, like right here, it's going outwards, right? But it, it is not going upwards. In order to go upwards, you actually have to dig underneath your blocks and to place them like this. And see, that has actually extended the turret size upwards out of your board cube, as I have. This right here is just an incomplete board cube. No, not that that matters. But anyway. And this will allow you to build a bigger, better turret than you would normally. Now, the problem is now is that we can't do any more from inside the build module of your ship that's attached to. Unfortunately, we have to get all the way out. We have to get all, go all the, oh, where did I just get teleported to? Excuse me while, while we handle some bugs, technical difficulties. Once again, let me just, I'm going to keep this in here. You know what? Just to show you how annoying it is. You have to get, if you have a giant ship like this and you're trying to build a turret, it take, you have to actually get out of your ship and actually if you plant multiple turrets, you're going to have to do this for every single one. You're going to have to get out, you're going to have to create a ship turret called turret one. You're going to have to get inside the core. Then you have to go over to this right here. It's the docking computer right here. It's always number 10 by default, but you can change it. And then you aim where it's green, and then you click that. And you'll notice that you cannot dock your turret to a ship that has a faction module, unless your turret also has a faction module. There is one way around this, however, and that is to have your ship not set as a faction ship at first, and then attach all your non faction turrets to your non-faction ship and then after they are attached then make your ship into a faction ship in other words then engage the faction module and now you can see it's actually attached I can't move from this position right here all I can do is swivel and of course if you press spacebar voila now you've got a turret now one thing you'll notice is that I don't have any power inside this inside the board ship right here obviously I had tons of power I had tons of shields the turrets use their own power and shields so that's something you have to keep in mind of so everything in the turret can be destroyed separately from the main ship now what you're going to want to do of course is plant some power and for some reason it's just really not wanting to power up today and really you can cover the faction module, there's, there's no point to it. And once we stick an AI module on there, it's going to be good to go. Um, usually I just put some shields, for some reason I only have a few shields, because I was busy building my Borg ship earlier. 
So, well, it's going to be a turret, but you have to make sure, if you're going to put a faction module on a turret, you better make sure it's damn good before you actually, you know, use it in combat. Because you don't want it to get destroyed at some point. That, as they say, would be rubbish. Uh, let's see. Uh, where is my weapons? Weapons. Do I not have weapons? That is rubbish. I just cut. The oh, there they are. Bloody hell. I'm, I'm an idiot. Alright. Well, as you can see, voila. Lottie, 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 da. Okay. And now, once again, you have to do this just like a normal ship. It's just like a normal ship, and bam. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. You want to make sure that you don't accidentally do that. Wow, is that loud. Wow, is that loud. But you want to make sure that you don't accidentally detach. But, voila, there we go. We got heat seeking missiles. And of course, since we have heat seeking missiles, what it's going to do is going to turn around and hit the own ship. Just don't use heat seeking missiles on a turret. It's not actually wise. Oh god. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> oh god, heat seeking missiles need to be fixed so it doesn't come back and hit something or someone of your same faction. That is that is just ridiculous. Seriously. Alright. I think I think the coast is clear. I think I will not die for missiles. Alright, as you can saw, we have an operation operational turret now. Even though it would probably kill us more than it would kill the enemy. But regardless, for the points of demonstration, it doesn't matter. Now what you can do for AI, and keep in mind you can only put one AI module anywhere. So, unlike where I have it now, when you actually build a turret, you want to make sure it's protected. See, look, only one AI block is permitted per ship. This is still considered a ship, even though it's a turret. It's kind of weird, I know. But anyway, just press R to enter it. And what you want to do is select active, of course, and then you will select turret. And now, depending on your type, I haven't really seen a difference in the AI from one to the other, other than the fact that they seem not to shoot at anything when I say selected target, and then when I say aim at anything, they're good to go. So, I recommend that, just aim anything, because the AI seems particularly stupid as of right now. Now, something I want to mention on AI is that it would be really helpful if you were actually able to make an AI ship, which you are, actually make an AI ship that is able to follow you around or to hunt a specific target. As you've seen on that little menu right there, there's actually very little you can do. I mean, you can't say, follow this ship or hunt this player. Those are things that would be really cool to do or even just go to these coordinates. Something that simple. Really, I would love it if you could just do Escort, the, the name of this ship. And if that ship no longer exists, then of course it stops doing, stops doing that and just sits there. Which is what the AI does right now anyway. They really need, they, I say they, he, I guess, it's one person, I think is working on that entire business. And it really needs to add more AI options. If it's only in allowing us to customize destinations, I mean, I've worked with AI before in Warcraft 3. Granted, that's very different, but it's pretty much the same. You still run into the running into walls and so on and so forth problem. But come on, just just a little bit of customization allow allowing us to actually do something with the AI other than just having them sit there would be nice. It would also be nice if we could actually modify our turrets from inside the main ship that's attached to. It would furthermore be nice if we didn't have a fa have to attach a faction module to the turret in order to get it to work to something like this. Eventually, I imagine you're no longer going to be able to cheat it when once it gets out of alpha state, where you can't, don't need a faction module before you plant it on there. Everything will probably detach at some point if you do that. I don't know. But uh, I showed you how how to attach a turret and now you can see how long it would take. Of course what you could do is if you were out of shop you could actually spawn in 
a better ship and just spawn in a crap load of them. Of course, you can't really spawn them in very quickly anymore since that was nerfed recently as well. But regardless, you can still have a fully constructed ship that you could just attach as a turret and that should work just fine even though it'd be ridiculous and you wouldn't really need the engines. But, uh, yeah. That's how you do it. I'll see you guys later. And uh, hopefully, if I ever come back to this sort of thing again, they'll have added more of the AI, and they'll hopefully they'll have made it where you can actually just stay inside your ship instead of being Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, spaghetti Spaghetti Legs over here. Cause uh, I don't particularly like Mr. Spaghetti Legs. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.